want stripes like this in November stay with me and I'll show you how welcome to another video folks it's Sunday the 21st of November the sun's shining the lawn's really dry so I'm going to do a vertical right okay so what we're hoping a vertical is going to achieve today well we're going to pick up these leaves and you can't see it but there's loads of little leaves which are just sat in the foliage there and they might not get sucked up with the mower because they're just a certain shape or size like that one there that's really probably not going to get sucked up with the cylinder we're going to hopefully avoid this area where it's a bit uh, thinner because we don't want to do too much damage over here but the lawn's very firm as you can see we do our press test there's no water it's really firm and the grass stands back up after we've touched it also we're going to get out some of the uh, yellow grass which is just natural this time of year just to thin that out so the air can blow through it and keep disease at bay but I'm really really excited as to where this lawn's going to go this year because I've just never seen it looking this good at this time of year it's almost as good as it was in the summer if not better to be honest because all those patches that we had have gone because it's gone a bit cooler so I presume they may be like nematodes that are attacking us and they've gone to sleep now so we're not getting any of that damage and we put the punch on we put the galactic on and it's just really really coming to its own now so I'll show you how to swap the cartridges over it takes a few minutes all you need is an allen key five millimeter and some brute strength that's all you need so let's do that and then we'll get on with it right so we remove this bar five mil allen key bit in here there's one bolt on this side and I've had this recently sharpened and Bill's put this in really tight so there's the one here which I'll just quickly undo and what I don't do is I don't put these back in once I've put the, scale, uh, the vertical cutting attachment in because it just takes too much time and there's just no need for it to be anchored in like the cylinder and sometimes I don't even put the uh, I don't even put the cylinder screws back in these are actually new Bill must have put these in because he realised there was none in but it's just ease of uh, not having to do this every time you can undo four bolts on the other side if you want but I just undo one because it slides out so just two bolts there these are actually um, bolts I don't know the name of it but the bolts stay in here they don't actually come out which is good so you don't end up losing them so that's a good uh, designed by uh, Atco, maybe they designed that, I don't think Alec did because it was already on the Atco before Alec took it over so I've just undone that one as well going against what I'm saying, I'm talking and not doing what I'm saying but just undone that and it just gives you enough room just to get that out just do that a little bit, get that up and just yank that back, done out Vertical cutting attachment, a bit lighter this one, so it's a bit easier to do. In. So you could tighten that back up, but I don't because I'll just have to undo it again when I come to swap over in a sec. So that's in. What we're going to do is we're going to lower it down. Not too low, because we don't want to do a, a major thing today, we really just want to tickle it today. So we'll play with that in a sec. I'll just get set up and then we'll get going. Okay, so I've just done one pass. It's looking really nice. Look at let's have a look at what we took out. The lips are a bit numb because it's a bit cold. Um, that's not from here, but this is from here. As you can see, all that yellow, slimy grass we've got out can only be a good thing. Along with a lot of leaves, all those acer leaves from that there. They just curl up and die and go right to the base and, and they rot and cause problems. So we've got most of them out. Some of it's still stuck in the vertical cutting attachment. It's not as good at picking up as the scarifying attachment is the vertical cutter. But today I think it's a bit less aggressive than the scarifying attachment. And that's why I've chose that over that, if you're wondering. So I think I'm going to do it up and down now. Get on it with the rotary. Pick up the leaves that I haven't picked up over there and then get on with the cylinders to do my final cut and then it should look absolutely 
absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so two passes later, got loads of stuff out. Look at all that horrible dead stuff. Definitely all sliming away and rotting, stinking. So to get that out now, going into the uh, into the winter is going to do us a world of good. So that's looking really nice. It's almost you could leave it like that if you wanted. If you was worried that he was going to do too much damage to the surface, but this is really really firm and dry so i am going to go on it with the uh i'm going to get the bosch rotor out today because it is a bit lighter and then it gives me a chance to go over it with the cylinder once more with the final cut but i think if i went on with my hater and then the cylinder again i really think especially uh over there i would start to do uh some damage so I'm going to take it easy with the uh, with the rotary today. We're only using the rotary just to hoover up, so we're not really using that as a finish. So it'll be fine. Let's get on with that. Okay, I've just realised I can't actually access the Bosch uh, Rotac today, so I'm, I am going to have to use the uh, hater after all. So it's not ideal, but I think we're going to get away with it. Okay, so I'm just going to take the vertical cutting attachment out and put the cylinder one back in, then replace the top bar, and then not forgetting to raise the height of the mower as we dropped it down when we did the vertical cutting. Okay, let's just have a look in at the uh, clippings, what we've taken off there. It does look green, doesn't that? Let me... Sun shining on me. Good colour for this time of year. See all that yellow stuff that's took off as well. Can't believe the colour for this time of year. Still smells lovely as well. Let's have a look at the lawn from here. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, what was it the wanted said? I'm glad you came. Oh, I'm glad I came today. Look at that. Oh, absolutely divine. As Greg Wallace would say on MasterChef, yeah, that is divine. Colour, depth of the colour, the greenness. Just shame the sun's out, really. It's really uh, bugging me. But I've got to got to go because um, I'm watching the Grand Prix in Qatar. Max Verstappen's just been deducted five grid places. So I've got to get back for that. If you was wondering when I filmed this, always when I say it is Sunday the 21st, how would I know that if I was filming it last week or last month? All I got to Solskjaer has just been sacked as well. But yeah, let's concentrate on more important matters the colour of this lawn. Just can't believe it for this time of year. It's lovely. I'll give you a close up. You still see quite a bit of the yellow stuff in there, but that's just natural this time of year. You're never going to get it all out. Maybe when Tom with the scarifying attachment, you get a bit more out, but I think we'd have done more damage today. So I'm glad I didn't go on with that. Uh, because we can always keep going over it with this. If it stays like this, we can go over it again with the verticutter. And again and again and again. Let's so have a look at it from this angle. How's that? For November. Yeah, it's a dream. Honestly, I think I'm dreaming. Let's have a look over it, my favourite view. Try and get rid of some of that sun. I don't know how that looks, but it looks pretty, pretty good to me from there. Let's just have a walk around here. Put my hand over the top of the phone, that seems to help. 
let's just go over here into the shed have a look back from here oh it's just delicious absolutely lovely just here we've got those patches from the dogweed which surprisingly didn't take uh, because we got a big patch of the way we put the Vinto bottle over there and that's took fantastic but these two patches haven't really filled in very much I'm just shuttling around the edge of the lawn on the wood I'm back Tuesday to do a bit more of a tidy up but um, we can maybe do some other stuff then but for today I think we're done Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if, uh, if you haven't already. Remember the old saying, stop bricking it and start clicking it. That's what we want. Keep these videos coming. Over and out.